What if your parents had named you Asper? Because uh, they were, because they were, cause, like, as if they could foretell you had Asperger's. You would have Asperger's. Well, but, but um, you would I not want wouldn't. that. But if what this group was being treated, wanting to be treated as an equal in society, you would not want to be called Asper because but, that yes, emphasizes that's... the mental condition you have. Okay, Chris, that's part of the, um, again, the character flaw. Asper 2 has things weighing him down. He has, you know, curses and, and not literal curses, but, you know, he, he has detriments to his life that weigh him down as a character, and he has to work to overcome those. That's part of what makes a good character. I mean, you, you wouldn't make a character that's just, you know, all-powerful and, and, you know, perfect in every way and has no real problems ever, would you? That'd be kind of boring. Complex characters have problems that they overcome. Yeah. And it takes it takes it takes time too to overcome a serious problem. I mean you just renamed him Mitch. I mean that that wouldn't do it. You know, you can't just go in and snap your fingers and and uh, and just wave the problem away and I mean one, yeah. that's not realistic and two, that doesn't make for good fiction. I mean I mean yeah, all the suspense makes... and drama you're building up, you know, your readers wouldn't really like that if you just kind of hand waved it away. Don't you think? All right. I mean, yeah, okay, but still. Think about think about it like this. Yeah. Superman is named Superman because he's he's super, right? And you know, Superman is one of the yeah. most popular characters. I mean, I mean, as an, as an as an individual within his own world, outside of your control, Asperger would not want that name. He would be in agreement with me and probably want to change his name to something like Mitch. Um, but the thing there is, Asper 2 is not outside my control because it's a comic and I am the creator and, um, you know, manager of the, his comic universe. So okay. I, as, as his creator, I decide what Asper 2 wants and what he doesn't want and what his personality is like. Hmm. I mean, don't you think? Fairly. Right. Have I mean, you ever watched the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yes, I have. It was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. You got the whole tomb world there, and mm -hmm. within that, it's, it would coincide with the comic book world. And every individual comic, published or unpublished, drawn all together. And but, within that world, actually, would reside your Aster Two, but he would be with his individual thoughts, and she gave him an adult attitude. Within his, within his individual thoughts, he would, he would hate that having the name of Asper to because it emphasizes his mental problem um, or his special condition. And he's like, he, if, if in his process of wanting to move on from that and become more accessible in society, that he would not want a name that would make him feel Okay, like that's... As um, he, like, as, like as if he's still living it, even after he's fully recovered from it. Okay, but Chris, um, you know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that was still a movie, and everything in it was determined, predetermined by the movie writers and the director. And I mean, there is no, you know, like, alternate cartoon world in reality. I mean, cartoon characters don't actually think and feel things. You don't, I, I, I got it. Okay, you here's the question. You obviously are naive about that because you're not fully under, you're not understanding that possibly so, that universe actually existing. So you do believe that um, when an artist creates a cartoon character, that character actually becomes real? Is that what you're saying to me? Within that universe, yes. But the universe is fake. I mean, the Astro 2 universe exists on paper and in my computer. It's just, it's whatever I write it to be. Oh, here's, a, here's a question for you. Um, okay, okay, so if you think a character would want, you know, an appropriate name, a good name, not a name that, you know, calls them out on something or sets them back. Um, Sonichu is the name of a species, correct? I mean, I mean, yeah. you know, there's Sonichus and Rosechus. Those are a species, right? Yeah, but he was the first one. He was the first original Sancho and she was the original Rose Chu. So, they, so, so but they, they still want their own name. And they, and, and they each came up with 
their name on their own. And they did not need a nickname to go with that. Okay, but Chris, if you're a human being, would you be comfortable just being named human or, or man? I mean, you would, would, you, would you be comfortable if the name Christian Weston Chandler, uh, you know, didn't exist and you were just called man or, or person or something? I mean, you know, homo sapiens. If someone calls you homo sapiens. Yes, but still, I was not Almost. the very first human being, and I actually had parents who gave me that name. Sasha came in, he had to come up with well, his own name. Well, had you that gave him the name, didn't he? I mean, within the comic, you, Christian Weston Chandler, is Sonichu's father, right? I mean, why wouldn't, why wouldn't your I cartoon am, self am, give him a name? Well, that's the cartoon me versus the real me. Okay, but isn't the cartoon you... Like you said, cartoons are you know basically real. I mean, so shouldn't the cartoon version of you be just like you? Wouldn't wouldn't you want to give your your child a name? I mean, you. Well, I did give him a name. He's the original Sonichu, so therefore, it's as such. But all the other Sonichus also have you know like nicknames or, or secondary names. So so the first Sonichu I gotta think is feeling kind of left out. Well, he doesn't feel left out. He accepts that, and he's happy with it, just as Rose Chu. Okay, well, I, I don't think that Astro Chu feels left out because, you know, he's just my cartoon character. He's, he's my property. He's, you know, my intellectual property. That's what he is. You can't, you can't have a person as property. So, you know, if he's my property, he's not a person. He doesn't feel things. He doesn't think. Okay, well, still, so what if you actually conceive, what if you actually conceive a child with your, girl, with your girlfriend or wife? Then you would would you feel that you actually own that child, even after you had raised it from being a baby to let's say late teenage years, where that child would actually feel more like an individual, independent being. Chris, you do understand that a uh, child, a human being, is substantially more than a comic character, right? They're not the same thing. They're not even close. Of course, I would name a child. Children are are real. And children are not our property. I mean, if I had a child, I would, I would give it all the love and support it needed. But it is its own person, or he or she, I should say. Whereas a comic character is just, it's whatever you draw on paper, or in Photoshop. I mean, when, you know, I draw Astro Two on paper. That's the only place he exists. And then I upload him onto my computer. And that's where he exists, and then he's, he exists on the web. So, so as a character, he he grows, but but he's never a person. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, it's just something you to think about. Okay, was well, uh, yeah. We can yeah. agree to what if, uh, As what if uh, it was what if she was on the other foot? What if Asper Chu created you? Well, then I'd be a, a comic character myself, and I wouldn't have any thoughts or feelings. So it's, that's a moot point. You think that comic character would not have their own thoughts and feelings? No. They are naive. Chris, you have told me that you think that a comic character is fundamentally as you know, much of a person as a real human being. That is the naive thought. No, I'm the writer. Know. I'm I'm like the god of the Aspertu world. I decide what goes on in Aspertu's world. I decide what, who and what Aspertu is and what he thinks and feels, if anything, which he doesn't because it's still just a character on paper. And, you know, when I put the pen down, Aspertu stops being there. I mean, no, nothing exists in Aspertu's world that I haven't drawn. Uh, boy, you're it's naive crazy. to think that there's anything more. You know, I'm. Um, I think we should agree to disagree on this point um, because we're, right. we both have our own our own thoughts on it. Um, I kind of want to ask you about. I'm actually getting some letters about Sonichu, uh, about why you're not updating daily, and I was kind of curious about I, that. But of course, for your information, I am updating daily. I draw my two page. I draw a cover my two pages a day. Well, I, I can't notice. help it if I can't if I don't have access to my computer or if I can't get to it right away. Besides which, my biological clock has been fickle on me. It's been making me, go, making me fall asleep earlier. Mm 